Good afternoon. Tonight, a high-stakes visit to Beijing, capped by a handshake. Secretary of State Antony Blinken meeting China's President Xi Jinping for 35 minutes to stop what officials call a downward spiral in relations. Direct engagement and sustained communication at senior levels is the best way to responsibly manage our differences and ensure that competition does not veer into conflict. Xi's message to Blinken, I hope that through this visit, Mr. Secretary, you'll make more positive contributions to stabilizing China-U.S. relations. There's no shortage of flashpoints here. Tension over Taiwan, China's role in the fentanyl crisis, unanswered questions about the origins of COVID, Chinese officials not holding back on their grievances either, like U.S. export bans on technology. Tonight, in an interview with NBC News, Blinken said the two-day visit has stabilized ties, at least for now. Both China and the United States, I think, recognize that uh, we were in an increasingly unstable place in our relationship. I think this is um, the start of a process to put a little more stability into it. But China refused Blinken's request to reopen military crisis lines that were cut off by Beijing nearly a year ago. Since then, some close calls, including this Chinese warship sailing within 150 yards of a U.S. destroyer in the Taiwan Strait, and this Chinese fighter jet darting in front of an American surveillance plane, something we saw for ourselves when we were on board another U.S. Navy plane intercepted by a Chinese jet. We've seen a couple of very dangerous incidents in the last couple of weeks. China says the encounters are justified to protect its sovereignty. Blinken's first trip here was called off after that Chinese spy balloon, which was shot down after it flew over the U.S. Senior U.S. officials told NBC News it collected intelligence from American military sites. I think it was more embarrassing than it was tension. So with Beijing, the balloon incident is over. It's water well, under the bridge. We did what we needed to do to protect our interests. We said what we needed to say and made clear what we needed to make clear in terms of this not happening again. And so uh, as long as it doesn't, that, uh, that chapter should be closed. Janet, Secretary Blinken insists the relationship is now stabilized, but was anything concrete accomplished? Lester, relations are at such a low point that even having the meeting is seen by both sides as a positive. Other high-level visits can now follow, with President Xi potentially meeting President Biden in the U.S. before the end of the year. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.